Another drifter in for Tibet. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once. Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? I bought that wine for a reason. A long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Geralt? The only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, I knew we left Vegas last time. What? He never gave me nothing. Suspicious to me, Tramp. Need to borrow one of your props, 
one of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Guard. What? Lost your nerve? I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? She drinks well, leaves. She will not be told. There must be order. A 
Witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that, or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. And the witcher's shoulders are strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Why not hit your waist like everyone else? Is it? We're a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? Willing to pay? Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Need some kind of lead first. Any clues? Uh, yeah, yeah, he ran. Toward the port. Came out of the sewers. Sewers? Should be an easy scent to follow. Do you know Mr. Menger? You don't, you soon will. of sewer slime. armies across the river. Take pity, sir. I'm a sick child. Even more misery besides. Sick. Sick of it all. Gotcha, Olsen. That was five stone with the purest fist tech you put to the torch. Do you know what it was worth? All right, witchman. Take your coin. Bugger off. Leave him alone. Wonder of wonders. A witcher defending a mage hunter. Next we'll have my stick it up for cats. I'm not joking. Ain't ya? Fine, we'll talk serious then.
didn't expect help from the likes of you. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, maybe. A lesson your colleagues could use, too. Listen, I've lost much blood. I need a medic to patch me up. Quickly! Will you help? <laughs> you hunters sure are polite when you need something. Fine. Do you a favor, against my better judgment. Give me your hand. Yes? I'm all Please ears. Help. Hey, another corpse is turned up. But of no course. Is it? What beast kills that way? Ah! Only man's capable of that kind of cruelty. Too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion is like. Get up. You've known him long. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theatre should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? 
Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. You always wear tight dresses. and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Find anything? Not here. Not here. Damn it. Now where Garrow, 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 Garrow? Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. 
for what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halfling's in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Oh, come on! You not rent this mutant. Don't know how much Rotling owes you, but everything in this house is mine. Wanna get something back? Try the Vagal Bun estate. Rotling's losing his last crowns at the races, I wager. Now get the hell out of here. Oh. 
Chucky and Steve. Oh, you think them a scare of us in our You Rotlick? Henri Rotlick? Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. Go, go! Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Wondering if I can take part in the races. If you've coin for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. I want a race. Grand. Your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Erasmus Vagelbart Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory.
to the victor! Not bad. Yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? I'd like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time? Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Saddle up! On three! One! Two! Three! Off you go! The final of the Erasmus Vegelbad Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach. Glory to the victor! Bravo. Congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? I want to try again. Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbart, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet, so he's seen as something of a local champion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One! Two! Three! Off you go! That's it, Roach. The Erasmus Vagelbert Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, 
Riding roots. Glory to the victor. Fantastic race. Congratulations. A grand victory. Is there a land where I might find more of your kind? Geralt of Rivia. Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Farewell. Crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the uh accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? 
Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time to play. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Ask the dandelion! Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? A relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Who could have done this? That I do not know. I do, however, know she is not the perpetrator's first victim. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You leave. medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awful tears. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon.
Excellent fool. <laughs> will heal, but it's a voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his ribcage, and a scar the length of his stomach.
Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue in stronger proportions. It's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies, we surgeons. We've a different sensibility. Mm hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and. shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Sorry. Rather not share my conclusions just yet. I understand. For the good of the investigation. Will you at least share what you intend to do? It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. 
If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the Temple on the Isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I've nothing to hide. It's just an old wound. Unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Uh, Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum. Quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell as new. That's human skin. Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Now. What will become of us under Radovid? Miserable. Double shame. hungry. Ah! Oh. <coughs> Time on fire.
Got a problem? Hey, handsome. A brazier. This time of year? I know that smell. From out there. Come on, sis. That is. Oh, my you know. Watch him, see what he does. You're in for it! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Think you'll gut me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! Ugh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well... Why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. I felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, the head's ringing. A brazier. This time of year? Human. Priscilla's. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Wait on his heel. Took a step back. Watch it, Trev. No regrets, not your stomping pain. Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Oh. Anyone home? Be 
gun, or I'll sit my hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit your stupid much lie down. Come on. Go on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, "'Tis all your fault, dirty bitch! Human dishrag!" And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her? Know where I can find her, this dishrag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. A pont said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Murderer dragged something ahead, dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from one corpse to the other, repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? 
Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Trace's house. Not good. It's always been cool. Your bread, your coin, your sword. Of all places, why did that man just go to the house? Oh, but with a library. Show us what you bring in. He was left in virtue, shall find warmth at the fire. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. No time to explain. Trust me, please. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books in Signia's reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests.
or I'll put a bolt between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. It wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder. Not just the name, but the place, too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Top notch swords. Show me what you have in stock.
So long. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Ah, it's a material world. Three. Mm. Mm. Wanna dip your dingo? Just a bit more, and I'll drop this job. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Try it, you bastard. And I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. You copper look, you got a pie. Long as the black ones are chasing the We can go at it here. Took she found out. Grace, you watch Grace. Looking for something unusual. <laughs> You're a vulgar one. You can see it in your face. <laughs> Won't find any better. Eternal fire. Whoa! Get off. Save me. I'm dying. I've always wanted to be 
They say another corpse is to the door. Better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. From me and Priscilla. Don't mention it. Nothing a friend wouldn't do. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off.